hi there, everyone. Yeah, congratulations on the film. Hi, James. Hi, thank you very much. Uh, Elegance knows how the emotional impact that the movie had on me because I I went up to congratulate him after the um, the premiere at TIFF and ended up kind of sobbing on his shoulder, oh. <laughs> which uh, is a first for me. I'm usually just like, yeah, congrats, to move away. Like, well, <laughs> yeah. uh, we'd met before, so it was it was okay. He didn't mind. <laughs> mm. um, so uh, could you each just tell me a little bit about what it meant to you to be invited to be part of telling what's such a personal story for your writer-director, Elegance Brasson? Oh. It's funny, I'm doing a play right now called American Television's down at New York Theatre Workshop, and in it I play the sort of uh, um, domineering father of a young queer boy, and so I've been living in the space of this father who's lost his son, and, and, part, and due in part because of his rejecting his homosexuality, and so... I just watched the movie for the first time the other day, but three weeks ago they screened it for me here, and I was so riveted and moved by Gabby Union's performance and her storyline, because uh, I've been living in the space of a parent, and uh, I, I just think um, Elegance's story is so deep, personal, and, and so important for right now that it's just it's, it's an honor and a joy to be a part of this film. Mm. How about you, you guys, Aaron and Iman? Um, I, I mean, an honor to be a part of something so transparent and honest. And if one thing elegance is, is unafraid, right, to tell the truth and be authentic and show the good, the bad, and the ugly. And um, yeah, I think that's sort of the dream for, for any project you're a part of, is there being no, there no hiding, no faking, no yeah. egos. It's, it's really just honest portrayal of his life, his inspirational story, and then all these other characters who also have the journeys that they have to go through and their tribulations and, and um, sort of how they all overcome, whether it's fitting in with the group or making family back home proud or providing for a family or assimilating into a country. And it's such a wholesome, rounded story um, that to be a part of it is, is really just a, a pleasure and an honor, yeah. I'll keep mine short. Mine was a very humbling uh, and gratifying experience. I mean, from, from the moment, I think we all share the same sentiment, from the moment we read the script, I think we were all drawn to it um, from top to bottom. Uh, and I commend uh, uh, Elegance for his, um, his unrelenting desire and kind of uh, will to not only have, having, have gone through that, but then having the will to, you know, and the vulnerability and the transparency to put it on the forefront within the art artistic realm and then to see it come to fruition. Um, it was a very cathartic experience for him. Um, I'm just very humbled and, 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 and thrilled and all the, all the things to have been, you know, a part of this amazingly wonderful story um, that we, once again, are, all feel the same about. So I, I, I couldn't be happier. It's changed my life. And what kind of insight did Elegance give you into his own experiences training as a Marine during this era of don't ask, don't tell that perhaps informed your approach to your characters? Either, you know, maybe something that was in the script or something that he you know, took you aside and said to you, was there something that particularly resonated or was helpful? Yeah, I think he had, I think there was aspects of uh, emotional and men I think there was mental and emotional aspects as, 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 along with the physical as well. Because um, I know that he wanted us to kind of embody uh, each and every one of our characters because they were so pivotal in the story. So he wanted, to, he wanted us all to embody those characters within where they fit, right? So obviously Castro was very much different um, than Ismail was and then to Rosales as well. And obviously Rosales was one of the, the, the drill uh, sergeants. So everyone's uh, story was so uniquely uh, fit for them but obviously with the physicality or even the emotional and mental aspects. Like I, I remember Elegance would pull me to the side and tell me a little snippet of, of the many Castros that he met in his life within the military. Mm -hmm. And I know that he did the same with Iman and they, that he did the same with uh, Raul within the film. So obviously it was, he was the, the best director that I've worked with um, on a film. Uh, through and through because of, once again, how transparent and vulnerable he, he was willing to be uh, for us. Yeah, I mean, I definitely just I resonate with, with what Aaron was saying. Elegance has a really wonderful way of, of articulating a very personal, even at times traumatic experience yeah. into something that is so 
easy to absorb and understand the perspective of someone who went through it or someone who witnessed it. He shared stories with me about Esmail's that he witnessed and that he based my character on um, from his time in the Marines, and, and it's all very helpful to, to, to hear and to, to take in when, when coming to play the characters. I remember asking, I asked Elegance once um, what he took away from the Marines, like if there were any habits that he came away with, and I was expecting like an answer, like I fold all my clothes like in a certain <laughs> way, or I make my bed a certain way, but he, he spoke more about the psychological effects of having gone through the military, and, I, and I, that was unexpected. It was uh, like it was, he was always, always surprising, and how fortunate you know, we all were to have him just, he's the ultimate expert on the story, and he's our director, and he's, he's the primary storyteller, so we're all very lucky. You don't always get that as an actor. Um, Aaron, Iman, thanks so much and congratulations. Thank you for having us. Appreciate it.